What's up everybody, this is Mike and stick around until the end of this video. I might have a little surprise for you. What's up everybody? I hope you're having a good day so far. Personally, mine is not so good. I am recording this video for the third time, so hopefully the third time is a charm. But anyway, this video will be a sit down and chat type of video. I want to relax and discuss something with you guys. Uh, and that being said, please feel free to voice your opinion in the comment section below. I really want to hear what you guys have to say. The topic of today's video is the Autel Evo and the new release date that we finally have received from Autel just a couple of days ago. If you're not aware, Autel has announced their Evo drone during CES 2018. I actually made a video about it and most of the people were pretty hyped about this drone, but then Autel became pretty quiet and pretty much decided not to be active on their social media platforms. They didn't really respond to any uh, questions and concerns that most of their uh, potential customers had to ask. But uh, now they have just released a brand new video on their YouTube channel stating that the drone is coming on June 25th, 2018. So um, six months after they announced it, it's finally coming. Unfortunately, you are still not able to pre-order their drone. So I'm not sure what is going on and when you're going to be able to uh, pre-order it. It says out of stock on their website, but hopefully on June 25th, the drone will be available to purchase on many different platforms. Now that we have a release date for that drone, I wanna to talk to you guys, hear what you have to say about the Autel Evo and just speak my mind about whether or not the drone is coming too late on the market and if it's a real competitor of the drones that we currently have on the market. So the first thing I want to address is something that I've been hearing from every direction and many people have been repeatedly saying that is that of course I will support Autel, I will buy the Evo because I want to support uh, Autel as an American company. And the weird thing is that Autel is not an American company. It might be confusing for some of you, but Autel has a huge office in the States, but their main headquarters is in China. So it's a Chinese company, just like DJI, just like Unique. Uh, they might have a um, customer service, which is based in the States, but that's it. And that doesn't really make it an American company. It's still Chinese. Uh, that's definitely not a bad thing because that keeps the manufacturing costs lower and that allows us to get a drone at a competitive price compared to the rest of the drones on the market, but still it's something that I wanted to clear up. Another thing that I want to address is how quiet Autel has been during these past six months and how little they did for the hype of this drone. Now, as a company that is trying to compete with a giant such as DJI, they really had to step up their game and try to be a lot more active on their social media platforms maybe release a lot more information about the upcoming drone and answer all of the questions that their potential customers had to ask. And that is something they didn't do and they really dropped the ball on this section of um, the pre-release hype. So they didn't really do anything about um, producing excitement about this drone rather than um, showing a couple of clips on the Evo. But that's not really enough when you want to generate hype and you want to um, excite the people that are potentially your customers. You want to uh, make them completely sure that they want to buy that drone. And that's something that they really didn't put a lot of effort in. So as soon as we got the news that the new Parrot Anafi drone is coming, it was announced last week and it's coming in early July. Uh, all of a sudden, Unique decided that it's time to uh, do something and finally release their drone. And I don't really think that's a coincidence. It might be, but that's a bit weird for them to finally uh, announce something and do something on their YouTube channel and their social media. And now they're finally uh, being a bit more active, but it's a bit too late in my opinion. And that's something that also I want to ask you guys. Do you think it's late for Autel to do that? type of thing and finally be become more active, release more information about the Autel Evo 
and talk to more people about it. I personally think it's a bit too late and it's something that they should have done long, long time ago. The other thing which I want to address is the fact that this drone is potentially coming at a price tag of $999. So when it comes to price, the drone is very close to the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro. And of course it makes the most sense to be uh, comparing those two drones with the Autel Evo. And most people really compare the drone to the Mavic Pro which I don't think it's very fair because the Mavic Pro is a drone that was released in the end of 2016, if I'm not mistaken. So that's just under two years ago. And of course, with the drone technology advancing so quickly, I don't really think it's fair to compare it to the Mavic Pro, but still, even if we try to compare them, the Autel Evo is not bringing anything that special. Um, over the Mavic Pro. Of course, it has a 4K 60 frames per second camera, which is great. And it has an obstacle avoidance in all directions and IR sensor on the back, which is great. I, don't get me wrong. I really like the obstacle avoidance system on the Autel Evo, but that's something that we also have very similar to the Mavic Air. And it's not something that we haven't seen before. There are a couple of things that I really like about the Autel Evo. But for me, they are not groundbreaking or anything that is going to definitely change the way we use our drones. Personally, I find the rotating gimbal of the Parrot Anafi drone to be something so, so different that we haven't seen before that that makes the drone unique in that way. What makes the Autel Evo unique in its own way? Can you tell me? Because I'm not really sure. Yes, it might be the 4K 60 frames per second in a foldable drone. That's great. And that's a valid, valid reason why this drone is unique. But if we think about the Mavic Pro 2, which is probably coming very soon, all of these features become a bit obsolete. And that is my main concern. If the Autel Evo is going to be released in the upcoming two weeks, it makes the most sense for DJI to also release their Mavic Pro 2 and try to kill two birds with one stone. That's something that they've already done with the Karma drone, and now they have even bigger chance to do something bigger, larger than that, and demolish two companies with the release of one drone. And if they're smart, which I believe they are, uh, they're going to release their Mavic Pro 2 very soon to try to compete with uh, those two companies, the Parrot Anafi drone and the Autel Evo drone. And that's my main concern. As customers, we want to see more competition. We want to see companies fighting for that customer, trying to win that customer with unique features and new things, new ways to use the drone. Um, and I'm not really sure that Autel will have the chance to really compete um, after releasing the drone so late on the market. Another reason why I'm a bit concerned about the Autel Evo is that they're not planning to release the Evo in Europe. Because of CE networks and regulations, I don't think Autel is even trying to uh, make it work for European customers to order and use uh, the Autel Evo in Europe. So that's a huge market share that they're potentially going to just abandon and do nothing about. And if that's true, that could be a big, big mistake. And unfortunately, that means that European customers will not have such a big choice between different drones that they can buy. So that means that if DJI releases a new drone now or soon, potentially the new customers that are looking for a new drones will just go and buy either the Anafi drone or the DJI let's say Mavic Pro 2. So with all the things I mentioned so far, the drone being released so late on the market, having uh, one more competitor in the face of the Parrot Anafi drone, um, being so close to the release of the new Mavic Pro 2, not being able to order the drone in Europe and not having a great um, presence on social media and answering questions and giving more information about the drone, will I think the drone could have a lot of problems as soon as it gets released? Yes. I do think it's going to take a lot of effort from Altel to make this drone become a huge uh, hit and make a lot of sales with that drone. If you look at their latest video on their YouTube channel where they say that the drone is coming on the 25th of June, you can see many people saying that it's too late for them and they actually were tired of waiting and they just went and ordered a DJI drone. Uh, whether it's a Mavic Pro or Mavic Air, it doesn't really make 
any difference. It's just that people were tired of waiting and that's the biggest mistake Autel did in my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about the upcoming Autel Evo drone, whether you plan to get it, whether you think it's too late for that drone to be a successful drone on the market and anything you might want to say and share let me know in the comment section below. I'll be sure to reply if I can. Now I think it's time to give you guys a bit more information about the giveaway and how you can actually win this Rise Tello for yourself. If you're not aware, I actually bought a Rise Tello for myself to review and test. And then I was contacted by DJI and they were kind enough to send me one for review for three months. And since those three months have now passed, they were kind enough to let me know that I can keep it and do whatever I want with it. And since I don't really plan to use it anymore, it's not my uh, go-to drone when it comes to flying or filming. Uh, I want to say thank you for the support for this channel by giving this drone to one of you guys. So the way you can win this drone is by following the first link that you're going to see in the description. I am using Gleam as my go-to platform when it comes to giveaways. That's the best and the most secure platform when it comes to giveaways in my opinion. So just follow the link and do um, the things that it asks you to if you want to participate in the giveaway. And in 10 days, I will announce the winner on my social media platforms, most probably on Twitter and by email, of course. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll see you very soon. Ciao.